Michigan State Police are now a part of the manhunt for that serial killer. But we were there when that 17-year-old got out of the hospital tonight, and only on 7 he shares his story. His trust is shattered, his body battered, but he says now he's on a mission from God. The pain ain't really nothing compared to me living and breathing. There are staples now running the length of 17-year-old Etwan Wilson's torso. This is where he, he stabbed me. He had open-heart surgery to pinpoint all the damage done when Etwan became another victim of this man, now known as the Flint area serial killer. He stabbed me once, but when he stabbed me, he, he pulled up he and up. he went upward and um, caught three of my, um, my organs, my major organ, my heart, liver, and my diaphragm. Etwan says the killer pulled over near him, pretended to use a cell phone, then walked up close and asked him where is Pearson Road. After Etwan gave him directions, he said, okay, thank you. And by that time, he was pretty close, about this far apart, and he um, just jumped at me, caught me one time. I just pushed off of him and ran. Ran to the first house I seen with a light on. God bless. That they um, thank actually, God. yeah, thank God he, open they opened the door for me. Etwan helped police create this sketch now seen around the nation. He's helping see to it this man is brought to justice. I just pray that it don't happen to nobody else. You know, I'm glad I was the, the one to live and get to tell everybody about it. And Etwan has a young son that he says when he gets old enough, he'll be having serious conversations with about strangers. But this evening and until this man is caught, he'll be staying with his father in Detroit. Live in Oak Park, I'm Glenda Lewis, Channel 7 Action.